Hey guys, Island Homesteader here again. Let's take a walk around the bee yard. What I want to look at is this little nuke. This nuke I caught last week trying to swarm out of that hive right there. Um, that's one of the new packages I installed this year. And they had um, like three frames with capped queen cells in them all along the bottom of the frame. So I know they were swarm cells. So I took the queen and three frames of bees I think and put in here. Um, and then that hive over there is the other new package from this year and they'd gone queenless so I took one of the frames um, of that had capped queen cells on it and put it in there and left the other two in the original hive with most of the bees so let's just see um, how this hive is doing since I pulled a queen and those frames of bees out all right yes the queen is still in there she has got two or three frames full of brood in all different stages I saw her on the frames so I have given them now a medium nuke box five frames of already drawn out medium fr uh, frames so um, they should move up into that pretty quick and start um, taking over that so when she starts getting up in there and laying and they start putting stuff away in there um, they'll be ready to go into a 10 frame deep and a 10 frame medium all right, so the next box I'm going to look at is that one right there. That's one of my new packages this year. They were queenless here a week or so ago, and I put a frame with some capped queen cells in it. So let's see if they've hatched and got mated yet. Okay, the queen cells that I had in here, one of them was hatched. You could tell that the end had been opened up, and then another one had been opened up from the sides. So it sure looks like one of the queens hatched out, went and found the other queen cell, and... Um, killed her they act queenless to me I don't know if you can hear them they're pretty loud compared to what uh, most of my bees are I do not see any sign of a queen laying in here there's no eggs I have a little bit of uh, drone larva but there was a bit of a laying worker in here but I don't see any eggs so um, I was introducing frames of open brood every several days to this hive. I think I may have finally suppressed the, the laying worker. Um, and, but I don't see a queen, any signs of a queen laying. So hopefully she just maybe hasn't started laying yet. Um, I'll give her a few more days. And if I don't see signs of a queen laying in here, I'll start introducing some brood back into this hive. Um, but so far, uh, no laying queen going on in this hive new package from this year okay same situation in this hive um, I do not see signs of a laying queen yet um, they are bringing in lots of nectar I'm gonna need to get a uh, another box on top of this one pretty soon um, they still have some cat brood that was in there from before there was at least one queen cell that looked for sure like it had hatched it had been open from the bottom and then there were several more that had been torn open from the side. So it looks like they had a queen hatch and she went and found the other cells, killed the other cells off. There still is one capped cell in there right now. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that one, but no signs of a laying queen. So I'll give them a few more days and see if she just hasn't started laying yet. And uh, I'll let you know. Okay, on to the next one. Ooh, lots of bees on top of this one. These guys may be ready for a super. So uh, let me get this box off and look in there and see what's going on. All right, so this was a very full box of bees. Um, both of the, of the brood boxes, that's a 10 frame medium and a 10 frame deep. Both of them are completely drawn. They're packed full, plenty of, of nectar down below, um, brood in the medium on the bottom tons of brood in the uh, deep box on the top uh, and and several frames of nectar in there as well so I put them a honey super on top it's um, got brand new waxed foundation frames in it so we'll see how long it takes to draw them out and hopefully they go ahead and fill that super up um, there's a lot of nectar in there so there's still a flow going on here from somewhere um, so hopefully they go ahead and fill that super up and maybe we'll get some honey this year so now that hive has a super on it that hive has a honey super on it I haven't had a chance to get in and look yet um, and that hive over there I think I'm just gonna keep that one as a double medium they may be ready for a super 
and that one there may be ready for a second brood box we'll see when i get over there but the next one i'm going to look at is this little experimental eight frame hive that i've got going on here um, that i split off of uh, one of the other hives this year this hive no signs of swarm cells no signs of swarming or anything um, which this hive last year was a cutout that i did so i know they swarmed last year so i was really wanting to keep an eye on them this year and make sure they weren't swarmy um, but so far uh, no signs of swarming in this one and like i said they're packed full in there so they definitely needed another box so we'll keep an eye on them all right on to the a frame hive all right this is looking like a uh, pretty full box of bees too so i may need to go i've got an eight frame uh two eight frame mediums that go on top of this so i may need to go get one of them uh, to get on top of this is a brood box, but let me get in here and make sure that these frames are all drawn and that um, she's laying in them all Or laying in most of them anyway Okay, they are definitely building up and they uh, they're looking good, but they still have room um, Most of the frames are drawn But there's two or three of them that they've drawn at least two of them that they've drawn and they haven't really done anything with so they're another week or two away from uh, needing a second brood box, um, but she's laying them out pretty good. So they're going to uh, they're going to just definitely keep on growing. So they're looking really good. This is a hive that um, I had taken down into a nuke this spring from the winter, and she was not laying very well at the start of spring. Um, but she's overcome that, and she's laying good. So pretty happy right now. All right, got a few more to check. All right, this is a uh, pretty full box of bees. This is one of the overwintered hives that uh, came out of the winter really strong. They've got a deep and a medium brood box. They've got a honey super, but it doesn't look like they've even really started drawing that out yet. Um, so I'm just gonna just look in here, just see if I got a signs of a queen laying and I'm gonna leave them alone. Um, this hive is typically my most aggressive hive not that any of them are that bad, especially compared to some of the other ones I've seen and some of the other ones I've worked for other people. Um, but today is not a very pretty day. Really overcast, nasty gray day. It has spit some rain on and off a little bit this morning. Um, so I just don't want to push these girls too far uh, to see just exactly what kind of a mood they're in. I'm just going to pull a couple of frames. As soon as I find some brood, I'm done. Or any other signs of a queen, I'm done. Um, and I'll go ahead and get out of these girls way so I'll just let you know what's going on okay they were actually in a surprisingly good mood so I went ahead and checked the whole bottom box seven frames full packed full of brood down there uh, a frame packed full of pollen and a frame full of nectar and one frame that they didn't really have a whole lot of stuff in so let me get into this uh, medium brood box and then I'll look in the super so like I said these guys were in a pretty good mood they're starting to get a little over it, um, so I just went ahead and finished up without filming anymore. But what I did was, let's see, the medium brood box had a few frames of some brood in it, but it had several frames that were full of nectar. So I pulled those out and put them in the super and put brand new waxed foundation frames down in the brood box. To see if they'll draw those out and that'll give her room to, to lay and they'll get the idea of going ahead and storing nectar up in the super so i think i moved four frames up that were full of nectar up into the super and put four frames in the uh, medium brood box so hopefully that uh, encourages them to uh, put nectar up there they've got plenty of nectar down in the two brood boxes so i'm not too worried about taking those frames and moving them up and of course, before I would take that off and extract it, I would check and make sure that they had um, enough nectar down in there anyway. So hopefully we'll get a full box. I would really like to get a full honey box off of this hive at least. And that hive over there, that would be really nice um, since we didn't extract any honey at all last year. So that's the update on this one. Nice, strong hive. They're going great. Um, just need to go ahead and make me some honey now. All right, we got... Uh, Two more hives over there to look at all right these guys are ready for another brood box they've got uh seven frames of brood laid in here and let me show you this we're experimenting me and another guy here on the island are experimenting a little bit with these fabric um, inner covers 
they're not quite what I want they're not heavy enough but they're good enough to just try them this year and look at the propolis do your bees do you guys have bees do your bees make a propolis like that I mean they it's just gobs of it and it's on top of these frames just that's literally gobs of propolis propolis whatever um, I thought about doing a propolis strap but I just haven't got around to it um, I'd have several hives in here that are like that um, this hive is like that that hive over there from last year is like that and that one no that one's not so bad I guess it's just really these two it's the two that were left over from packages last year the five packages I put in last year were just super super propolis makers um, and this guy this guy is no exception they're just going at it over here so all right uh, I may come back and put a uh, medium brood box on top of these guys after I look at that one and see if that one needs a uh, super or not but they're doing great packed full nice full box of bees um, and the Queen's laying great like I said she's got I think six full frames of brood maybe seven full frames of brood in there so um, they're definitely ready for another box time has passed my uh, phone overheated in my pocket and didn't want to record so um this hive i'm trying to think of where i was this hive is doing okay uh, they're not doing great but they're doing okay um she is laying in both boxes a few frames in both boxes and they do have some stores not as much as some of the others but they're doing it they're making it uh this one i've added a medium brood box to so hopefully they'll move up in that one and and take on uh, that one I'm still waiting to see if they've got a queen That one got a medium nuke box on top and as soon as they fill that up They'll go into a 10 frame deep and a 10 frame medium um, That one I'm still waiting to see if they have a queen That one is doing gangbusters. That's the one I moved um, some of the full frames up into the super to try to encourage them to um, leave some room in the top brood box and to put some honey in the super that one's doing good um and the eight frame is doing good they'll probably be ready like i said in another couple of weeks at least at the, at the minimum a week at the most two weeks they'll be ready to um have another brood box put on top all right so that's the uh state of the bee yard as it is right now um that's one two three four five six seven eight hives here right now i've got the hive that i'm doing a trap out on That'll get moved down here probably in the next few days. And Sunday, I've got a nuke coming from Maryland. Um, so that'll be added. So that'll be 10 hives. Um, that's about all I can put in this space right here. I don't think it'll support any more than that. I would like to have more hives than that. It's just a matter of finding places to put them. So anyway, that's where we are right now. I uh, hope you guys' bees are doing well. If you have bees... And uh, if not, I hope you guys think about getting bees, and we'll talk some more about that uh, this fall and over the winter. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, press that thumbs up button. I appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't, and press the notifications. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I, uh, I do my best to answer every single comment I ever get, so I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. All right, guys, thanks for watching. God bless.